Welcome to Being Humankind, with your hosts Brian, Mike, and Neely. We explore what it means to be human in a time of disconnection. If you could have lunch with anyone, past or present, who would it be? If I could have lunch with anyone, past or present, who would it be? Lunch, dinner, breakfast. That's a great question. There's so many that pop into my head. I, I don't know which one to choose. I mean, part of me wants to say my dad, but my dad gave me a foundation and he would say, I oh, don't waste your time, boy. Another one. Yeah. I would say Maharshi, Maharshi Mahesh Yogi. I say that because here's a guy I'm sure there are those who will cringe with me saying a guy. Here's a man who in 1958 came to the U.S. with with virtually no money in his pocket, but a belief in a possibility of sharing something with people that could help them live better lives. He recognized that people were suffering and he wanted to help people live better lives. He shows up to the airport, the story goes, and He's in LA and basically just people roll out the red carpet for him to welcome him to the States. And he ends up teaching TM himself to people before training people who would then become teachers of TM and who then went out to share the technique of transcendental meditation. I say that because I had a dream experience once and (laughs) I had a dream experience once where he said, you know, that it was my time to share this information. And I take to heart the sharing of a level of awareness of consciousness. I take it seriously. And so to sit with him, lunch, dinner, breakfast, would be to just talk with him to simply say thank you, just to say thank you. I mean, because he left behind the information. The question becomes, what do we do with that information? How do we choose to live our lives? So for me, it would really be a moment to just sit and say thank you because he believed in himself He believed in the technique. He didn't believe in impossibilities. He believed that I'm possible. And he put this forward. So it wouldn't be to really ask him much because he said, and I have access to all the the footage of what he said, if I want to know what he said on a specific topic. But it would be more to simply say thank you because if it weren't for him, then I wouldn't be here doing what it is that we do. And then I could even take it back even further to Swami Vivekananda, who happened to be a Freemason, maybe even him, to say thank you because he and Maharshi were born on the same day, you know, years apart, but born on the same, she had birthday. And Maharshi once said that he's my brother. Maharshi also was supportive of Freemasons because he understood what the craft is. And I know directly that you know, 
he supported, you know, what the craft was about. And he himself said, I am told, and I have this great authority that to teach, teach them TM, meaning Freemason, because they'll get it. Teach them TM, they'll get it. And so it, that lunch, dinner, or breakfast would simply be to say thank you. Now we might have other conversations as well, but it would be mostly to say thank you.